now that we have our data access layer we need to enable the, the access via a WCF service and this is the next step that we want to take so what we'll add to our solution is again a new project and we need a WCF service application in C sharp and we'll call this one key result dot uh, data service here we have a separation between service contract and service we don't need that for our purposes it will be much simpler but before we add the service we have to add a reference of course to our previously created data layer here we have our data layer take this one in and of course we need to copy the connection string from our data layer project into our web project here we have it so now we are ready to go add the service add new item add a WCF service let's call this one ski result service okay we'll put together in this case interface and definition So we can get rid of the interface here. We'll make it nice and simple, nothing fancy. And the first thing, what what will we need to do? I mean, we need to offer uh, operations for getting all the events, getting all the competitors for a certain event, and saving back a certain competitor. So we need three operations. So let's start with the first one. We will be a public, uh, we will return all the events, so it will be an innumerable of events. We need a using here. Uh, let's call it get events. We don't need parameters. So we have a using of var context equal to new key result entities. And this one. So I think that we probably miss a reference to system.data.entity let's add this one we need it just to to enable uh, access to entity framework inside the WCF project now we have the context we can easily get all the events var result equals to context dot events dot let's make it to list and to enable returning all the events that we have read from the database by now we have to detach these objects from the entity uh, from from the object context, so we do a result dot for each. Um, we have events and we do a context dot detach and e. And now we can uh, return the result. Yeah. This is the first uh, the first method that we implement get events. We will have to use it as a data source for the uh, combo box at the top of the screen. The second one is quite similar. It's called get competitors um, it will return the list of competitors and it will receive a, a filter so we call this one a good event ID filter uh, we need a context of course but the result looks a little bit different we have a context dot um, competitors dot include let's load up the events together with the competitors we have where um, competitor c dot c dot uh, event id equals to event let's make this one large here no nope. you won't see it i'm sorry let's go back yeah let's do a break here uh, event id filter and let's do a to list again and yeah that's it again we have to detach all the object and return the result very very simple straightforward code it's it's a typical WCF data layer that you see a lot of times so the last one here 
as the method to save back a certain competitor so we call it public void save competitor and it gets a competitor so what do we have to do the first thing is again we need a, a data context of course to access the underlying database yep here we have the data context and then we have to context dot um, attach the com the object it, it's coming through the web interface uh, through the WCF call into this method and we have to attach it attach it to the entity framework context to make sure that we can handle this competitor next thing is we have to use the the the, the, the state the object state manager to change the object object state of competitor to uh, entity state modified to make sure that um, and the entity framework knows that it has to save the the newly created or the, the changed competitor and last but not least we have to say context of save changes now that's it so we get the competitor we attach it to the entity framework connection we set its object state to modify to make sure it is saved up and we have the save changes so let's build this one yeah this guy is building and we can make this one the startup project and we make the service the startup page and let's call f five here to start the debugger the system will launch our WCF test client and let's see if the data access layer the WCF enabled data access layer will work no it does not work let's see what the problem is okay it does not work in the uh, in the WTF uh, test client because uh, it's using classes that the WCF client is not able to return but we have we have seen that the WCF service comes up so at the moment we assume that everything is fine with our WCF service and uh, we'll check later whether the service works or not but yeah let's stick with this for the moment